generated numbers, pi or e, deserves to be held in the higher respect. Which of these numbers should be put on a pedestal to which we should bow every day as we pass by? Should it be pi? <laughs> Dating back to the Greek antiquities together with the Venus de Milo and the Parthenon? Or should it be E? <laughs> of the Renaissance, embarrassment to Euler, shunned by the neighboring numbers 2.7 and 2.8. <laughs> now, Professor Garrity is going to try to use facts and figures to confuse the issue. <laughs> He'll have formulas and series, integrals and derivatives, but don't let that confuse you. I have facts and figures, too. This briefcase right here is filled with facts and figures, <laughs> all right? But this debate isn't about facts and figures, is it? No, this debate is about what you feel in your gut. <laughs> Which of these two numbers do you love more? Right? Is it pi, pi which is simply defined by taking any circle, and you take the circumference of the circle, and you divide by the diameter of the circle. That's it. You get pi. That's the entire definition of pi. It doesn't just hold for this circle. It holds for any circle you want to pick. You just take the circumference <laughs> divided by the diameter, you're going to get pi. Every circle in the universe has pi embedded in it as a fundamental part of its makeup. Every round frying pan, every can of Diet Coke, <laughs> every doorknob, and even what is arguably the greatest invention of all time, and no, Tom, I don't mean the hula hoop. <laughs> The wheel has embedded in it the makeup is in its makeup this magical number. Pi. Pi's great. Who doesn't like pi? Everyone likes pi. Pi is popular. I agree. You go out in the streets and ask people about pi, and they'll go, oh, I like pi. Everyone likes pi. <laughs> Even small children <laughs> like pi. <laughs> but most of us are not small children. <laughs> there are many things you like as a child, and then you just grow up. <laughs> of course, pie was discovered in, you know, 500 BC. It's one of the first simple things people could do. It's effortless. It's like the first person to discover a chair wasn't a big deal. People who discover electrons, that's work! That's intellectual merit! Sorry. <laughs>